Today on Legendary Lowdown, we're talking Deep Rock Galactic, we're talking Dune, and we're talking what everybody's talking about, Wordle. Tune in now for the latest board game news here on Legendary Tactics. And our headline story tonight is that Deep Rock Galactic, the video game, is coming to tabletop. Yes, coming out of Kickstarter sometime in the very near future of 2022, we will have the Deep Rock Galactic board game. Ghost Ship Games and Mood Publishers are backing this, and we are really looking forward to seeing what they come up with. Uh, They are saying at this point that it's going to be a cooperative board game based, of course, on the Deep Rock Galactic Universe. I'm always curious with these board games like Frostpunk, This War of Mine, XCOM, Bioshock, Gears of War, where it starts as a video game. I just wonder if it will be as exciting when it becomes a board game. What do you think? It could work, actually. If you play the if you play the video game, you kind of enter a room, and there are a bunch of monsters there. And then once you clear the room and and do what you got to do, then you move on to the next room. So it almost has a dungeon crawler type uh, setup. So it could it could work pretty well. In doing some background for this, I noticed that uh, the uh, the developers really uh, they listed the games they like, and the games there were like Gloomhaven, Robinson Crusoe. Uh, And those are games I can get behind, so if they're going to follow in those molds, I'm interested. That might be a bit optimistic to uh, (laughs) rise up to the level of... It's a a high bar. It's a high bar. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Next up, we have uh, uh, a news story that actually hit last week, but they confirmed it. uh, And that is that uh, 85 hours of nonstop Dune was played. <laughs> um, wow, there was That's it was a bit much. It was a bit much. They were they were trying <laughs> to raise money for Alzheimer's research and also to break a world record, and they achieved it. They played 79 games in uh, 85 oh. hours. <laughs> <laughs> they had wow. no meals; they could just do snacks. And uh, <laughs> no food and allowed. Okay. No food allowed. They got five minutes off every uh, hour, so they, oh. they got five minutes break every hour, and uh, and they broke the world record, which is which is uh, pretty good. And they they raised about a little over a thousand uh, or a little over a thousand dollars US. Um, oh, that's great for the, for the charity. And uh, it was kind of neat because uh, they 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 basically the Dune is a, a recreation of an old Avalon Hill game from '79. Uh, that was re-released in 2019 by Gale Force 9. And uh, so it's that's not a simple game. It's not like they were playing Yahtzee for uh, <laughs> 85 hours. They were playing a pretty heavy, pretty uh, heavier game. Yeah, I, I think the newer version is maybe a little more, bit more streamlined, but it's not a it's not a simple, uh, simple game. But yeah, 85 hours straight. Wow. Well, I would want to raise more than $1,000 if I played for that many hours straight. <laughs> yes, indeed. I, and I think the only game I could do that with is Cosmic Encounter with yes. all the variable alien powers. That could be fun to try and play every alien in the game. Now, the one funny thing was that they they uh, they hit their, their record and they were mid-game, so they decided to finish their final game. <laughs> that's even awesome. though they reached the goal. Well done. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's, that that's a tip is, of the cap. That's a yeah, legendary right. tip of the cap. <laughs> give them kudos for that one. Absolutely. Well, let's move to our third story, and we had to cover this. Wordle. In October of 2021, Josh Wardell released the game Wordle, and it exploded in popularity, as I'm sure you both know. And the mechanics are actually nearly identical to the 1955 pen and paper game called Jotto. So this isn't something new, and there's also a game show uh, that's similar to this. But the big story here is why has this become so popular? And I think there's a few key reasons for this. So low time commitment, one word per day, that leaves players wanting more. And I think it's better to have users for 10 minutes or five minutes every day for a long period of time than it is to have them burn out on a game for after a few weeks of nonstop play. Second, the game, I would argue, is substantially luck-driven. On the first couple of guesses, you really determine your outcome there. And I think luck-driven games tend to resonate well with everyday gamers. Third, everyone's trying to guess the same word across the globe. So the game establishes a connection between players every day. It works well for all ages, school kids right up to the older generation. So for this reason, communities of Wordle players are coming together. It's also free. 
The game also demands that friends compete against each other, and you have to be completely honest with this game because it just completely spoils it. If And it is super easy to cheat with this one, so uh, developing that trust among gamers is, is pretty cool. And finally, I mean, the game's a conversation starter. You can start talking about it with anybody else who plays the game, and there's a lot of people. It's simple, it's brilliant, it really took off, and it was just purchased by the New York Times, so it's safe to say Wardell has done well with Wardell. Oh! Yes. Well, well played. Yeah, and he sold it for se- a low seven figures, apparently. So that's right. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. At least any, one any million. Key, do you have any key words that you guys start with when you play? Uh, yes. The the one that I have sp- generally started with is adieu, because that yeah. covers oh. vowels, covers off a lot of your vowels. Interesting. So, okay. and depending on what I hit, I will f- follow up with story right afterwards, because then that. Adieu, ah. that hits all the vowels, and it gives you S, T, and R. And R, as yes. As well as D, yes. which yeah, is yeah, E. So. Yeah. Those, those are the ones now, I like to start with, the S, T, R. What's, what's really cool is that the people putting the words in are conscious of the strategies. Adieu is probably the world's most popular starting word, and they're conscious, so I think they actually are avoiding that those letter combinations sometimes yeah. and putting yeah. single vowels and more obscure yeah. vowels. And, yeah. They did run a, a I, I think it was a neural network or something like that to determine what the best starting word is. I don't know if you saw this. Yes. And row eight, was it? Well, there was I saw that one article as well, but there was someone else that said later is actually the best starting word. Wow, oh, interesting. Okay. Later. Yes. Huh. I actually find myself using words that I don't even know, but I just have certain letter combinations and vowel combinations I need, and I plug in a random word, and, and you know, it, it narrows it down a lot for me. The worst Wordle starting word? I don't even know how to say this. X, Y, L, Y, L. Zixel. So, That's Zixel. Awesome. so don't, never don't start with Zixel. Start with Zixel. <laughs> Whatever you do. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for listening. If you enjoy this board gaming news flash, please let us know it by stabbing the like and subscribe buttons. We'll catch you again on the Legendary Lowdown.